Worst class ever. So, this is by request of my best friend ever. So, don't even think if you're somebody else and you're watching this, and I don't know how you got my YouTube page, but you can now be my best friend. This is a lesson on staff. Steffi Lopakis. You can't read that because it's scribble. Aureus. Staphylococcus aureus is a bacteria. It's called Staphylococcus. Coccus literally means little balls. Little balls of bacteria. Because they are round when you look at them in a microscope. And it's Steffi because they're clumped up like grapes. So this is what Steffi Lococcus looks like in a microscope, except they wouldn't have black outlines around them. They would just be circles. Steffi Lococcus, aureus, lives in your nose and in your ears. And it causes furnacles and nasty boils. Boils! Boils. The biggest boils you have ever seen were probably Steph Aureus. In fact, when you hear MRSA, MRSA, or VERSA, so, methicillin-resistant Staphylococcus aureus, or vancomycin-resistant Staphylococcus aureus. These are staph infections, and you can get them from your ear and your nose. So that is why everybody should know that if you're gonna pick your nose, which, I mean, how can you not pick it? Let's be honest, who doesn't pick their nose? Like, I don't mean, like, I'm just sitting around picking my nose, but, like, if there's something in there and I want it out, I'm gonna pick it out because I have fingers, right? <laughs> everybody knows. Everybody does this. Don't judge me. I know you're not judging me, Brittany. I love you. <laughs> Fucking YouTube people. Damn you people. I hope the FCC doesn't, like, find me for this. <clears throat> so... If you pick your nose and then you stick it in like an open wound or you like scrape yourself with it, you can get a staph infection or if you pick your ear. So if you're picking things, <laughs> if you're just picking a lot of things, keep your nose and your ears separate. Guess where they live? There's another kind of staphylococcus. <laughs> Staphylococcus, and I'm going to use the genus abbreviation capital S, Epidermidus, Epidermidus, Staphylococcus epidermidus. I'm sorry, you probably can't read my handwriting. That is what lives all over your skin. This is an example of a good bacteria. We want this because it keeps Staph aureus that lives in our nose from spreading onto our skin and causing nasty skin infections everywhere. And then you'll look like me without my makeup. <laughs> <laughs> so really, you need Staph epidermis, but, and there is a big but, <laughs> Becky. <laughs> My best friend's name is not Becky, it is Brittany. Okay. That was a, that was like a 90s joke. <clears throat> was it the 90s? How old am I? Uh, okay, anyway. Let's not think about that. So, Becky, <laughs> big butt. It can cause infections, and it does. For instance, when you get a catheter. So a catheter. <laughs> if you have problems peeing, <laughs> and, <laughs> and you can't do it 
normally. They <laughs> ignore this. <clears throat> they take a tube and they stick up your penis or your vagina into your bladder. That says bladder. And bonus biofilms can grow on it. Biofilms are colonies of bacteria that form like this extracellular matrix. Like, we are made out of extracellular matrix. That is what holds us together. So bacteria can make that amazingly because they're individual little guys. It's like if people came together and formed like a giant person. It's kind of cool. I mean, it's not like one giant bacteria, but it's like a colony of bacteria and they just like know how to make this like hive of doom, doom hive in your pee hole. <laughs> and so when you have catheters, that's why they replace them every so often. Um, and that's why you don't want a catheter. I mean, there's many reasons, many, many reasons why you don't want a catheter. But that's a good one. Staph. So staph epidermidus can go up your catheter. Do, 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 do. It just goes up. It just keeps growing. You know, it's, you know, it's not like moving, running around. Like it doesn't have flagella. Like some bacteria have like flagella so they can run around. Staph aureus does not have flagella. It just grows its way up. So it just kind of spreads like moss or something. And it gets up in your bladder or wherever. And it forms this biofilm. And then all of a sudden you're like peeing a whole bunch of blood. And it gets into your kidneys. And it's like the freaking elevator doors of the shining opening. And then you're dead. So um, normally that wouldn't happen. You wouldn't die. But they would just change your catheter. So... Bacteria are good, we need them, but we don't want bacteria in places that they shouldn't be. So Staph epidermidis is our friend. We keep Staph aureus from causing giant boils and furnuncles and fistulas, which is a great word. Fistulas all over our bodies. Nobody wants a fistula. Nobody wants a fistula. And when it gets into your catheters, it can make you pee doom. So the lesson for today is keep your bacteria where it's supposed to be and don't mess with it. For instance, if you killed all your Staph aureus, like if you were like bleaching your skin and you're like, oh, okay, I have bacteria, then it's so much easier for bad bacteria like Staph aureus to like get on there and be like, oh, this shoulder looks tasty. I'm gonna make a giant fucking fistula here. And it's gonna be sick. <laughs> so that is your lesson. This is your microbiology lesson for the day. Dedicated to Brittany. I fucking love you. Um, sorry, FCC. Fuck off. <laughs> Not you, Brittany. I fucking love you. <laughs> this is the worst lesson ever. Nobody will ever watch this but you. I love you.